If you have a small channel, I'm gonna help you fix some of the problems that you're having with YouTube, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. And real quick, if you're a regular viewer, I got a new camera, let me know what you think. Let me know if you can tell the difference down in the comments. Okay, so we're gonna talk about monetization, of course. We're gonna talk about watch time and a few other things that you need to focus on right now as a small YouTuber. And this video was inspired by a friend of mine, Gord Eisman. I'll put a link to him down in the description below and I'll actually put a link to him right up here as well. But with Gord, he basically found out the news about what was happening with YouTube and he took action. What he did is he said, hey, I'm gonna figure out how to get watch time. I'm gonna figure out how to get more views. I'm gonna figure out what I have to do in order to meet the requirements before the deadline. And he did it and he still has days to spare. So let that be an inspiration to you as well that you can also overcome this stuff. You just have to put in the time and the effort in order to make it happen. Okay, so let's start this whole thing off with monetizing your channel. How can you monetize your channel as a small YouTuber? If you've never done any type of affiliate marketing before, it might be something to where you're like, hey, I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what affiliate marketing is. How am I supposed to do affiliate marketing if I don't know what affiliate marketing is? In a nutshell, affiliate marketing is basically to where you put links somewhere and anytime somebody clicks on those links, then they go and purchase something, you actually get a commission, and commission means money, for sending that person to that website in order for them to be able to make that purchase. As an example, if you look in my video description, you're gonna see links going out to Amazon. And the cool thing about Amazon is when somebody clicks on an Amazon link and they go to Amazon, if they buy the specific thing that you're talking about or not, they end up buying something, you still get a commission if it happens within the first 24 hours of them clicking on your link. Now, where this gets really cool as a small channel is you can actually put links in your description letting people know at the very least what equipment it is that you use. To be honest, most likely it's not gonna bring you a ton of money at first, but what it is going to do is it's going to help supplement the income that you may have made from YouTube ads as a small channel. Two, focus on generating more watch time by using playlists, specifically series playlists, because what happens when you use a series playlist is your videos are more likely to get recommended, your other videos in that playlist, next to other videos in that series playlist. And of course, there's a bunch of other things that you can do to maximize your watch time as well. I actually made an entire video about this. I'll put a link to it right up here if you wanna go check that out. But the idea is basically to get more time out of every single person that watches one of your videos. Send them to more videos, then you're increasing your watch time, you're increasing your views, you're increasing your chances of winning that person as a subscriber. And you know, as YouTubers, that's the stuff that we're after. Number three is collaborate as much as you possibly can. Look, a lot of small channels just like yours are looking for opportunities to work with other people so they can get more views, more watch time, and generate more subscribers on their channels. Reach out to other smaller channels. You can even try some big ones too, but reach out to smaller channels with a plan and say, look, I would like to do a collaboration with you. This is the idea that I have for the collaboration. If they are in a different city, state, country, you can still collaborate with them. I made an entire video about how to collaborate over long distances. You can watch that video right here. It's also important to learn how to rank your videos in search. As an example, if you're just putting up a bunch of videos and they're not things that people can actually find, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to get going and, and meet those requirements that YouTube has recently put out. If you learn how to rank your videos in search, it can be a game changer for your YouTube channel. I recently interviewed on my Nimmin Live show every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern, make sure to be there this coming Saturday. I interviewed Trip from the YouTube channel Trip Advice and one of the main things, the biggest thing that he said to focus on was making sure that you're optimizing your content for search so that you can get discovered. And with him, learning how to properly rank his videos in search was a game changer for his YouTube channel. It can be for yours too. If you're interested in watching that interview to get more information on how he actually does it, I'll put a link to that video up here as well. I'll give you a warning though, it's kind of long, so you might want to listen to it in the background while you're doing something else. Or if you got the time, go ahead and watch it. And look, I know you're frustrated with the recent changes to YouTube, but there's no other platform out there right now that can do for you what YouTube can do in search in terms of discoverability and exposure and basically just getting your message out there and using it as a stage, as a, as a distribution point for whatever creative works that you wanna to put together. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.